fundamental concepts of clusters and and the basic concepts of clusters are normally discussed uh, in in the verbal ways and we have discussed recently in the last module in this module we practically implement how the clusters are managed means create and alter the clusters creating cluster using ddl command for this one creating tables in cluster and creating cluster using sql and dropping cluster as well to create the cluster we normally say create cluster system privileges with quota because it needs space and quota as well and sometime it needs the unlimited table space as well for the system privileges to create the cluster in another user schema you must have create any cluster kind of rights uh, or privileges so right privileges are very important for this one and based on this one we say create any cluster with limited or unlimited space this is how we can create or implement the cluster create cluster cluster name we can give some let's suppose one column size 600 table space for this cluster is this one storage just like the way we create the tables with the table space but in this particular case we mentioned the parameters like uh, size or initial or next extent and these kind of pct free informations with the clusters to create a table in a cluster you must have either create table or create any table system privileges with quota or the unlimited table space privileges to create the table in a cluster this is how you can do it create table table name give all the columns department number references department cluster emp underscore depth because you already done this table created emp underscore depth and similarly you can say create table depth give the name of the column primary key and other columns and say cluster emp underscore depth number so this is how you can create the table in a cluster altering cluster yes of course if you have a cluster definitely there is a chance that you can modify certain informations later on or you remember later on or you may need this one later on that yes you need these things with the existing clusters so to alter a cluster your schema must be contained cluster with alter any cluster system privileges physical attribute in trans and storage characteristics are needed and size is also very important for the modification purposes and default degree of parallelism is also needed for the altering cluster again dropping just like a table we drop it we, we can drop the cluster as well so we can run the command just like if the emp underscore depth is already clustered include it and sometimes we forget by mentioning including tables so including tables both of them drop cluster emp underscore depth per semicolon so we give a message that including is ko tables or when we drop the tables we drop the including contents so in the same way we drop cluster to be drop drop cluster cluster name including tables cascade constraints as well like for example parent and child issues are there within the tables so those also affect with the drop of the cluster so this is how we can drop the cluster with cascade option and with including tables option as well 